And now, ladies and gentlemen, the most exciting moment this far in the evening. Here are the names of the five finalists. One of these five girls will be Miss Universe 1968. And the first name on the list is Miss Brazil. <laughs> with a chance to become Miss Universe, Miss Curacao. <laughs> Number three among our finalists, Miss Finland. The fourth spot among our five finalists for Miss Universe 1968 goes to Miss USA. <laughs> one more girl, one more girl, and that girl is Miss Venezuela. And now, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, in order that you and our judges might have one last opportunity to see our five finalists, I'm going to ask each girl to step down here with me and chat for just a moment. Then our judges will cast their ballots, and we will know the name of Miss Universe 1968. And would you please step down here first, Miss Brazil. Miss Brazil, right down here. Right over in the center. That's the girl. Do you speak English? A little bit. You speak a little? Yeah. All right. I just want you to chat with me for a moment so that our judges may look at you. And would you please tell me about something that would, well, about your hometown. Just tell me about your hometown. I can't speak. <laughs> this is an exciting moment, isn't it? Had you hoped that you might be among these five finalists? Well, you have tears in your eyes, but those are tears of happiness, aren't they? This, this is a very exciting evening. All week long has been building to this, and here you are. All right, Miss Brazil, you, you just step right back up here. You cry very prettily for the judge. <laughs> Miss Curacao, right down there. Miss Curacao, right down there. Now, I just want our judges to have a chance to see you, so why don't you tell me about your hometown? Just anything about your island, perhaps, that you'd like to have us know. Well, I was surprised to find out how many people in the USA know about Curacao because on the world map it's such a tiny little spot. Uh -huh. So I was really surprised. In our and interview uh, earlier, I mentioned that you speak five languages, and one of them is the language of your island, isn't yes, it? Yes, Papiamento. Papiamento? Papiamento. What is it like? <laughs> Say something in Papiamento. Say, I'm happy to be among the five finalists in Papiamento. Ah, that sounds good in any language, doesn't it? Here you go, Miss Curacao, right back up here. <laughs> Miss Finland, would you step down here, please? Now, Miss Finland, you speak English, don't you? Yes, a little. I'd like to have you tell me, I ask you, well, I ask you to compare the United States and Finland, as I recall. Let's change the subject to the pageant. Tell me what you've enjoyed most about being here this week in Miami Beach. I told you I like melons. <laughs> yes, you like melon. I know that. Well, let's change the subject from food. <laughs> I like melon. All right, let's stick with melon. What kind of melon have you been eating so much of? What kind of? Yes. Is it watermelon? Oh, this uh, it's so small and yellow. I don't know it, what... We probably call that musk melon? No, something else. Can you imagine? The five finalists here. We're about to name Miss Universe of 1968, and Miss Finland and I are discussing musk melon in the middle of the stage. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you step back up there, if you will, please. Miss USA. 
since we're doing this television show here in the United States of America, I would imagine that our television audience would like to know what you've learned about other countries during this pageant. Well, um, Miss Malaysia is one of my roommates, and I learned much about her background. Um, their culture is completely different than ours, and it's been very interesting. Also, I went to Rio de Janeiro mm -hmm. in Brazil for the Miss Brazil contest, and um, I found how limited I was by only knowing one language, and I hope to learn more languages. Yes, I learned that just a few years ago, and I've started studying Spanish. I think it is a wonderful thing to learn the language, isn't it? Yes. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you, Miss USA. It's been a very valuable experience for you, honestly. All right, Miss Venezuela stepped off her little podium there saying, I don't know English very well. Well, we're prepared for that. We have an earphone for interpretation here. Yes, I can. And I'll put this up to your ear, and then you'll hear my question in Spanish, all right? I want to hear in English. You want to hear in English, all right. Miss Hospitality, take your earphone. And I'll choose something here that you might enjoy talking about. I'll tell you, what advice, advice, would you give to other girls who want to enter the Miss Universe beauty pageant? Well, you know, I'm enjoying very much here, and people with me is so kind, and now is the best time in my life that I am passing, and I would like, if other girls who want to be here, she can. If, she, if she's pretty and nice and kind, wonderful, I if, think. If she's pretty and nice and kind and wonderful, <laughs> she can be here. Yes. Well, I think that sums it up very nicely, Miss <laughs> Venezuela. There you go. Actually, you know, she did sum it up very nicely because all 65 of these lovely girls are pretty and nice and friendly and wonderful. And I'll tell you, judges, the decision is yours now. Oh. Well, I only picked three of the five finalists the judges picked. I hope you did better, although three is average. Now, at this point, no matter who you chose as finalists, we have to work now with the five the judges selected. Using the judges' choices, we have to now choose the four runners-up and Miss Universe. And this is where the voting is really difficult. They're all beautiful and poised and charming. The judges take into account the manner in which each girl answered those last questions, and whoever is chosen, Miss Universe must be able to answer questions put to her by reporters and interviewers all over the world. So being able to think on your feet is really very important right now. Well, I'm going to make my choice, and in a minute, we'll see how well I pick them. <laughs> now, a word from Safeguard Deodorant Soap.